coming now. Yeah. That's our move. Thrust, th thrust washer, <coughs> excuse me, and a thrust uh, bearings. Hey, hey, it worked. What do you know? You got that, that uh, sucker out of there. So, all right, perfect. Success. Now I just got to order a couple more, a couple more uh, bearings. This one, 
this one Pump came out at the top. That's how it's going to go back in. I'm going to do some more of this ATV. RTV cleaner gasket maker. <laughs> Keep the thing straight. Put some of this on. This will allow it to adhere better. Uh, I'm sure there's some Johnson Evinrude sealer you're supposed to put on this, but This is the tool to insert it. Just to knock it out. But yeah, it's not the proper tool to install. Okay. I'll just use a socket for that. It's fully seated. Yeah. Feel this bearing spinning. that top the pinion bearing lower pinion bearing and upper pinion bearing that I removed last uh, last episode I removed the uh, the seal or I actually put in a new seal I had to pull that seal back out then put the water pump back in um, and uh, and then get this thing finally fully assembled and ready for the water for next year then I can work on that other that other monstrosity, that 50 horse, and see what that's more things to get. I'm probably gonna get a, a new thrust washer for that too. That's a washer that has bearings in it, but you can see it's completely rusted up and they're no good. I might have some of that in my extra parts. I'll have to look. If I do, I can just clean these washers up and I'll use what I have in my stock 
but I don't have to buy that. But, uh, but I know I'm going to have to buy the bearings. That was the uh, that was the bearing that it was all froze up. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see it. Um, sorry about that, but uh, this this these are the needle bearings in there, and they're all pitted, rusted. The seal or the the race uh, for the lower pinion is all damaged. I had to pull that out. And that's what you saw me today. All the needle bearings that came out of the pinion bearing on the lower pinion bearing are all rusted. So this is garbage. Um, new bearings, and this thing will run like brand new when I'm done with it. So stay tuned. Uh, if you like these videos, subscribe and like and let me know how you, you know, let me know that, that you're uh, that you're interested in this and that you want me to continue these these videos. I'm, I'm, I like doing them. Uh, when these things kind of come up for me, I'll, I like it. I enjoy doing some mechanics work. I'm not a mechanic, but I do like to uh, putz around a little bit with this. So, um, you know, please stay tuned and, uh, you know, uh, join me with the next one. Um, I hope to uh, I hope to get this, this baby back together, this 40 horse electromatic shift uh, next time. So uh, please subscribe and like and... Uh, if you don't like, make some comments uh, or positive comments if you like. Uh, I know I'm not doing everything right. I'm probably doing a lot of things wrong, if you've noticed. But uh, uh, but I'll read your comments and, and, and respond back. So thanks for watching also, and uh, and you have a good Christmas. Talk to you later.